Hey guys, uh, so we're moving on to the next FPV simulator here. Uh, this is Liftoff. Uh, Liftoff is uh, purchased through Steam and it's a relatively good option but it does need to be configured correctly. I'm still unsure of whether or not I think this is the best option. Uh, and I'm not going to go into all of the features, but it definitely has some really great features. I think they're working or have even released multiplayer. There's like a, a full track builder where you can share tracks and other things. But, uh, you know, for the purpose of this uh, review on, uh, I guess, the feeling of the quadcopters and the flight experience within these, I'm just going to uh, quickly fire up a, a free flight and a freestyle flight. So we can talk a little bit about that. So I guess uh, the, it's, it's worth pointing out at this point that the only way to uh, experience the, the, you know, the, the best uh, flight uh, characteristics in this uh, simulator is to ensure that you have set up the settings correctly. So it's really important to come in here and uh, look, out of the box, it's really difficult to know what any of these do. Like the PIDs have really, I don't know, I, it doesn't feel like to me like they're actually realistic. Um, you know, you touch D and suddenly it's just a, um, a spluttering mess or things like that. But there are some uh, tutorials on here. There's actually a sticky uh, discussion topic in the Liftoff forums on Steam about Acro PIDs and uh, somewhere down here on, on page 4 this uh, Boof69, thanks Boof, uh, if you ever see this, um, thanks again for doing this, but he's uh, shared his PIDs. Um, I'll share them here with you uh, now so that you can see them. And uh, yeah, you know, like I, I recommend uh, that you uh, use these so that you can get the best flight characteristics possible when you're playing. So once you're actually in the game, you know, I guess that then we come down to talking about how does this actually feel? And you know, it's pretty cool. So, I think that the uh, the speed is probably a little bit too fast for uh, what I experience in in real life, but you know it's it's not bad if you don't go hard on the throttle, um, and you know you can definitely get some really cool um, flight practice in with this particular simulator. Uh, so look, I, I think that in terms of how they feel, liftoff is pretty good, but. Is it the best? Well, I think you'll just have to have a go and, and see what you think. But I, I do like this sim, and I did get a lot of uh, practice flying whilst uh, using this simulator. So I think that it's 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 fairly safe to assume that new pilots coming in would be able to get a lot of value. I think the the game itself costs like twenty bucks, like so. It's really not an expensive purchase to. Uh, to get up and running and it's got some nice other features as I mentioned so I, I definitely recommend having a go at this and uh, you know like <laughs> that, that's one of the annoying things is definitely going outside the fly zones but other than that you know it, it's pretty good and uh, you know you can you can do worse um, as we've seen with uh, with FPV Freerider so uh, yeah look you know give uh, Give this particular simulator a go. Um, make sure you play around a little bit. Maybe um, look and see if you can find any other settings online um, from other other pilots who might have also done some uh, some customization, etc. And uh, you know that's pretty much it for now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, you can now have a better idea of which of these simulators you might want to uh, actually go and uh, play around with and uh, invest some time in but uh, you know I'd really like to encourage you to uh, get your skills up and so that you can save yourself money in the re in reality and yeah enjoy thanks a lot